students welcome back to our ssc classroom now students in the last video we started our chapter that is lesson number 9 mineral resources right students and in that we have discussed about the metallic minerals okay hope you all have understood about the metallic minerals so students today in this video we are going to discuss about the non metallic minerals so students do you know what is non metallic minerals minerals that do not contain metal is called non metallic minerals students these minerals are breakable and soft okay so we we'll see the example of non metallic mineral that is limestone gypsum phosphate salt and phosphorus so students in this video we are going to discuss detail about the fossil fuels okay so students coal petroleum and natural gas these are three important fossil fuels students you know what is fossil fuels fossil fuels means they originate from the dead plants and animals okay it buried under the ground for many years and form the fossil fuels okay so students fossil fuel means fuels which took a millions of years from the dead plants and elements it is formed over millions of years from dead of plants and animals students now let's discuss about the fossil fuels first we'll talk about the coal okay students so students coal is very useful mineral it is used for cooking food in many homes it is also used as fuel to run factories and to generate electricity okay students so this coal is used to mainly used to generate electricity and to run factory right it is also used in domestic work like cooking so students india is very rich in coal deposit so we will see in which states the coal are found jharkhand madhya pradesh west bengal raniganj dhanbad bukaro zaria korba navli are the important coal mining centers okay students so students coal is formed from dead and decaying plants and animal matter students it takes millions of years to be formed that is why coal is non renewable source of energy means this energy once it gets exhausted it will take a very long time to form again so students we have to be very careful to use this energy okay now students let's move to the petroleum students petroleum or crude oil is formed over millions of years from the dead remains of sea animals okay it is important source of energy students you know where the petroleum is found petroleum is found deep under the earth and under the sea bed deep wells called oil wells are dug to pump it out okay students petroleum is separated into different product in petroleum refineries such as petrol diesel kerosene mobile oil and cooking gas 
as well as cosmetic lubricants and plastic this process is called refining of petroleum okay students so students this petroleum is refined to make different product such as diesel kerosene cooking gas cosmetic lubricants and plastic okay hope students you have understood about the petroleum now students in india petroleum is found mainly in assam gujarat mumbai as well as rajasthan okay hope students you have understood about the petroleum students now we will discuss the natural gas so students natural gas is a type of gas that occurs naturally underground students natural gas is a type of gas that occurs naturally underground it is usually found along with petroleum in the same oil wells it is used for it is mostly used as fuel for cooking heating and producing electricity okay so students in india it is mainly found in andhra pradesh and gujarat andhra pradesh gujarat telangana maharashtra and assam so these are the state where this natural gas are found now students hope now students hope you have understood about this puzzle fuel which we have discussed today that is pet that is petroleum natural gas and coal now students we will talk about the conservation of minerals okay students so students you know minerals are non renewable sources once they are used up and exhausted they take a thousands of years to form so students we must think of the way in which we can reduce the consumption of minerals so they last longer okay students so students if we use these resources too fast they cannot last forever so it is believed that petroleum deposit in the world will last not more than 1000 than 100 years coal deposit will last for about 250 years so we should use this available resources carefully okay we should also develop energy from other sources such as the sun wind and running water okay students wherever possible we should try to replace the use of coal and petroleum with a renewable source of energy such as sun wind and water okay hope students you have understood about the non metallic mineral and conservation of mineral resources that how you will conserve how you will preserve the mineral resources on the we should be very careful for using this energy as this energy will not last forever we have to be take care we have to use it very 